And I can't wait till we can break apart to hear me if I seem a little unimpressed with this An antisocial pessimist But usually I don't mess with this Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Trout here coming at you Episode 3 Story of Trout, I think it's what this series is called I don't really know. I haven't really explained the series to you guys yet. I want to make it like a little story every episode for my life. I might go from like young to old, but or I might just randomize it. Okay, it's a skelly bob, but might randomize it. I'm not sure yet what I want to do there, but I'm just going to tell a story like every episode while I just journey along in this world, building, mining, just surviving, really. Um, at the end of the last episode, I told you guys I was going to go mine some cobblestone. Went and got that cobblestone, but I used all my pickaxes, so I don't really have any pickaxes left, but it should be enough to build my house. We gotta fight out of here, though, and kill a skeleton. He can't hit me, but he cannot hit what he cannot see. Okay, you can see me now. Got him. This is gonna take forever. I need to go get some okay oh my god I thought I had health oops I don't even know where I died um yeah Rest in peace. Rest in pieces. I honestly don't remember where I went. Alright, well, so much for a st well, I guess I can probably tell a story and search for my house. So much for those 64 stacks, though. Those were... Totally worth it. Wait. I believe my house was somewhat over there. I remember this. Let me get to this island. Where was that? I still can't believe it. I'm going to have to go back and watch the video, but I do not think I had that low of health. Like, I had food that I could have ate. Maybe I was just not paying attention. I don't know. It's depressing, though, to be honest. I have a few stories in mind to uh, tell this episode. But I'm not sure which one I want to tell yet after that happens. So. It's got to be a rough story now. Rough story from early childhood. Uh... Oh, there, I can tell the story of the time I got hit in the face with a metal baseball bat. It was a good one. I don't know how I didn't break my nose, but God was looking out for my looks later on in life, I guess. Because I took a metal baseball bat to the nose. Just straight up to the nose from like a... Alright, I'll tell the story of this episode. Um, so, every when I was little, probably until like I was 14... I went to this place called Lake City. Up, no it's up north in Michigan. It's not really that north because I mean, it's still before the bridge. But my family would go there every summer, and we have we would put a camper there, and we would just stay there. And we'd come home still, obviously, because my parents had to work. But we would stay up there for long periods at a time, and I we've been going there for a long time since like I was born, basically. Like I think I was up there the week I was born, so that that should explain it right there. I think my house is underneath this, right? Yes. You're doing good. My finer stuff. All right. Can't forget where I'm at in this story. Explaining Lake City to you guys. Oh my God, it's a miracle. Wow. I'm mind blown by how all my stuff is still there. Right? That's like all my stuff. I 
sure nothing got blown up on top. All right. Can you a skeleton around here somewhere that killed me? I will get vengeance. But all right, so I had gone, grown up in this place called Lake City, right? Knew like I'm almost like everybody up there, and in the park that we stayed at, there was like this field where all the cars usually parked. But if there was no cars or like boats, there's cars and boats there with trailers and stuff. But if there was nothing there, all the kids would usually go there, and we would play like baseball or football, kickball, just like any anything that kids would just play. We would go there and play. And one time we were playing baseball, and I don't I don't have that good of a memory and like. Because I was really young. I was like seven probably at the time. But this kid named Jacob... Sh I'm not going to say his last name. Just, we'll just call him Jacob, I'm pretty sure. And he he played baseball. He was on like a, I don't know, travel league baseball team, AAU baseball team. I don't know, whatever you guys, whatever you baseball players call it. I'm not really that much into baseball. But he was all into that. He was good at baseball. He had just probably torn our team a new asshole. And... We just got done playing, and I'm walking, like, in front of him. He wasn't swinging or anything. I just walking. I'm walking in front of him, right? Game's over. Figured, you know, he's not going to swing. He's just kind of looking out, you know, looking around. He sees me, like, literally can see me. Look, I mean, I was seven, so I was short. He was tall because he was probably, like, 15, 16. But he can still see me. Don't 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 try to say that he couldn't see me and that he didn't know I was there. This dude, Miguel Cabrera style, winds up and just tees off on my nose, basically. And I'm like, I, he had to have purposely hit me or something, cause I was seven. I was not tall. He, I was not in his batter box or whatever you guys call that. He just straight up domed me, drops me. Seven year old just dropped by a metal baseball bat in the face. Everyone's like, oh shit. Like, he, they thought, they, he probably thought he killed me. Honestly, I was so young. He just domed me with a metal baseball bat, drops me, knocked me out, gut blushing everywhere. And I'll never forget. Everyone's looking at me. I wake up like five seconds later. Everyone's looking at me. And I'm just like, what the hell? I'm, I stand up. That was not crying. I swear to God, if you do not believe me, you don't have to believe me, whatever, that's fine. You're a hard ass for not believing me, but I did not shed a damn tear. I looked around, I was like, what? Like, I was just mind blown. My, my I could see my nose was just screwed up, gushing blood everywhere. It was just not a pretty day. I need to get some doors for these houses. It was not a pretty day, though, as I was saying. And... We'll call him Colin. My brother, good friend of my brother, had gone up north with us multiple times. Played hockey with my brother. Picks me up, like swoops me up off the ground and just starts chugging. I'm talking like Marshawn Lynch just picks me up off my feet and is just chugging up these hills to my camper. My nose is just bleeding everywhere. Uh, he's running through campsites. People are just staring at us like it was horrible and he's i'm not kidding when i'm calling him marshawn lynch he was going beast mode with me in his hands just chugging we get to my camper and our neighbors jim and marie good long time friends also up there they stayed next to us their camper was always next to our camper for as long as i can remember up there they knew me when i was a week old like i was saying when i was up there and she instantly, my mom, who's a nurse, was not up north at the time, so that just made it even better. My mom was going to be pissed when she found out. But Marie's holding me. She's got like a washcloth on my nose, and I'll never forget. She had these this basket of blow pops, and I chose this red one because that's all I could see was just blood red everywhere. So I don't know why. I just wanted a red blow pop, I guess. Okay, I don't know how to make a door, so we're going to have to figure this one out real quick. But yeah, so she's holding this washcloth to my nose. Is this just bleeding everywhere? Not a good day for Alex, right? So 
blood is just covered everywhere in my shirt. I'm just sucking on this sucker. My dad still does not know that I am just gushing blood, probably broken nose, knocked out cold by a metal baseball bat. Everyone's just still standing down at the field playing baseball. I had the worst day of my life. My dad comes out of the camper. He's like, what in the hell? Freaking out, thinking someone like punched me in the nose or something. But my dad didn't know at the time that I'm a hard-ass nigga. He didn't know that, all right? He didn't know. I'll, I'll cut him some slack. He didn't know. Ain't nobody gonna tee off in my nose with their fist without catching one of my right hooks. Regardless if I was seven, they were catching a right hook. Maybe even the yappa to the chest. I don't know. But he's freaking out. I got just this washcloth on my nose. I really don't know how to make a uh, door. So that's kind of blows dong. Is it like this? Maybe? No, no, how do you do it? How do you make it? No, no, no. All right, I'll continue the story in a second once I figure this out, I gotta figure this out. All right, I'm gonna pause the video, I'll figure out how to freaking make it. All righty guys, I'm back. As you can see, I have the doors made now, so I can probably make some more. Edited. Google it, that's kind of embarrassing, but oh well. I just started playing, cutting some slack. But as I was saying, I don't know how I did that. Nose turned out not to be broken somehow. I, I don't ask me how. Yeah, it's gonna annoy me. Whatever. Don't ask me how, but my nose didn't break. I don't feel like we need a door there, but oops, I'll fix it. Do I have an X? All right, I just have to fix these doors real quick because I screwed up. That one's actually no, I don't want that one there. But yeah, so nose was not broken. Probably had a concussion, but you know this was quite some time ago, so no one really even cared. Kid just got hit in the face. Everyone thought I deserved it, saying that I walked in front of him. But I I know for a fact. Oops. I know for a fact, though, that I did not. He wasn't even swinging, so, like, what if I... Who cares if I did walk in front of him? He wasn't even, like, swinging at all. Like, he didn't have to swing. There was no need. Okay, this sucks. I gotta fix this wall. Like, but, yeah, as I was saying, there was no need for him to swing. Like, what are you practice swinging for, dude? We just finished the game, like... You know, what? Whatever, though. It didn't break my nose, so I'm not too upset about it. I survived. It was still just a really rough time for a while. That's not the only time, though, that I got hurt up there. That's where I got hurt the most, probably. Taylor Swift lyrics, I think, right there. But I would say I got definitely the most injuries up north. We need to go. Oh, that sky. Uh, love that sky so much. We need a shovel. Let's make a shovel real quick. Um, we got enough sticks. Legit. Oops. Nope. That's a shovel, right? No. Yes. Wait. Why did I make a wood one? What? Oh well. There we go. Let's go get some sand real quick before the end of this episode. Uh, I'll tell one more story, I guess. Another rough, rough injury from up north. It's kind of getting dark out though, so that's kind of sketchy. Let's go this way because I know there's a waterfall over here. Okay, it's getting real dark. I know there's sheep over here though. So let's go kill these sheep. I don't see the sheep anymore. I don't like this. 
getting dark and I can't find the sheep. Damn it. I need a sheep. Sweet Jesus, not to you again. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Two skelly bobs. Two skelly bobs. Dodge and weave. Wow. That was intense. Hopefully we can uh, get a quick crafting table, make a quick bed. Wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. There we go, boys. Place the bed, let's go to sleep. Morning time. Time to work on the house. Let's put all of you. Actually, wait. We want you. You're going to be in the house. Go get the sand. Actually, there's sand over there. Creepers. Didn't mean to upset you, oh my sweet lord. Skirt, 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 skirt. Made it down safely. Do we have food? We have one cooked mutton. We're balling in the food business, boys. Give me sand. Probably gonna need like a full 64 stack to be honest. So I might just have to end the episode and get the sand another time. Like, just not record me getting the sand since it's gonna take this long. Maybe I can just do it like this. Yes, yes I can. This is way faster. Give me all the sand I just mined. Swim up. Mine. 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 Oops. Accidentally clicked the one button. Mm, I think we're going to be able to get all the sand we need in this one episode. But alright, quick story. Another time. Um, so we're... we're up north, the main like transportation, I mean obviously, the main transportation is a bike. Everyone rides bikes. If you don't ride a bike around, you're slow. And uh, through the park, there was roads, like paved roads obviously. So it's not like, it's like an actual like state park, I'm pretty sure. And uh, or is it county park? I don't really know. But it's nice, it's paved. There's actual campsites, it's not like an actual like Legit, just random section in the woods where you can place your camper and stuff. And uh, so we're, me and my cousin, Brayden, we're riding our bikes down the roads. And we were going to my grandma's, I'm pretty sure. And uh, we're cruising along, right? Right in, like, the middle of the park. So there's tons of campers around, tons of people watching. And uh, we're cruising. I had this red mongoose. It was, like, a BMX wannabe bike that I used to have and uh, I would ride around on that and that was my way of getting around and I was riding it and the chain was always loose on the bike so it would come off occasionally and you could probably piece the story from there I'm cruising along right just riding cousin next to me going along right by everybody all the main campers and stuff 
chain pops off, right? We're going. I'm, you know me, Billy Badass here, handling this like a straight up G, just riding it, riding it out. Next thing I know, I don't know what happens. I think I might have hit like a crack in the in the sidewalk or something. So I was like riding onto the sidewalk. Next thing I know, bike just kicks out from underneath me. I'm riding sideways. I had flip flops on, and the flip flops go flying. No socks on shorts short sleeve shirt i'm just road rashing down the side of the street on the sidewalk just getting torched skin just getting torched i stand up and i look down at my foot and there must have been like a rock where my foot hit and on the top of my foot not kidding there is a straight up hole in the top of my foot straight up hole i'm like oh my god all right this blows. I'm going to need to have something done. All right. Don't go to my gra Actually, no, we did go to my grandma's. I remember. We go to my grandma's, and I was like, all right, my mom always taught me. She's a nurse. She always taught me put direct pressure on the wound. That's what I started doing. I got some paper towel, cleaned it up a little bit, and I put a towel around it, tightened it, and I wrote on the pegs, you know, straight up G, riding on the pegs, wrote on my cousin's pegs all the way to my aunt's on like the other side of the park again back to where we came from on the pegs my mom's there cleaning our boat i'm like screaming because i'm only i would say i was like 10 when this happened screaming because it, it hurts so bad it was probably one of the worst feelings that i've ever had my mom is cleaning the boat right in the front yard i'm screaming like i got a hole in my foot and stuff my mom's just like just keeps cleaning, not listening to a word I'm saying. I'm like, Mom, I have a hole in my foot, but screaming. I don't really want to yell right now. And she just continues to ignore me. And I was just like, all right, whatever. I walk up onto the boat she's cleaning, blood and everything. And I just point to my foot, all wrapped up. And she's like, oh, wow. Unwraps it, sees the hole in my foot. She's like, oh, you're fine. Just put some, uh, I think it's Neosporin on it. Wrap it back up, call it good, it'll be good in a couple of weeks. I was like, alright, yeah, alright. Just got a hole in my foot. It's cool. It's cool. No big deal. Um, what else? What else can I put in there? Nothing, oh wait, yes I can. Yeah, got a hole in my foot. I still have the scar to this day. I still have the scar on the top of my foot. Yeah, got a lot of scars on my body from up there, you could say. Let's go choose my bedroom real quick, though, before I end this episode, because I uh, see we're getting up there on time, 20, 23 minutes right now. See, I don't like that. That's too skinny. That's a guest room. That could possibly, that's possible. Possible master. Or I could just... Well, no, that's living room. Actually, you know what? Quick little edit. Skirt, skirt. Wah, 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 wah. Oops. I still have doors correct. Yes. Kitchen, living room, master. Bed. Solid work. I'm going to end the episode, though. Um, why not? Why not end the episode in my room, on my own bed? Alrighty, guys, that's going to do it. 25-minute episode today. Uh, sorry I missed the past couple days. Uh, had some some family stuff come up, some stuff going on. Uh, I'll probably tell you guys about that in the future. I don't really want to talk about it too much right now. Um, save that for another day. But alrighty, guys. 
I'll catch you in the next episode. See ya.